Alright YouTube, it's your boy Fleek Man here. I haven't been posting in a minute. So uh, let's get into it. So this is a story time. But I'm not gonna say like it's a story time. I'm gonna call it Savage Stories. I might start a series on this, but um anyways, let's get into it. So this is the story of the first time that I went to New York. Now this story this particular story uh this new york trip actually this is for band and so like we would go there and like uh perform a couple times and stuff like that you know what i mean and like it wasn't like just the band going it was band choir and orchestra going so you know it was like uh i think around 100 kids and stuff like that so we had two buses now, uh, beforehand, we got to pick, you know, like, which bus we wanted to take, you know, like, if you wanted to just, uh, you know, like, get on the bus with your homies and stuff like that. So, uh, we get, uh, this is the day that we leave. So, the day that we leave, uh, it was snowing a little bit. Now, to me personally, I didn't know that the snow was actually gonna come down like it did, because... You know, like, even though I live in Minnesota and stuff like that, like, I didn't know that it was actually going to snow in the first place. So, we get on the bus, and the way that we get on the bus is that, um, it was by last names. And so, since my last name started with a W, I was pretty much, like, close to last to get on the bus. And there wasn't that many good seats. So, I ended up getting, you know, like, it in... Me personally, like, I don't like sitting in the back, but then again, I don't like sitting dead front. So, like, I was able to get a seat, like, close to the middle and stuff like that. And uh, so, it's taking them a minute just to actually pull off. And, uh, you know, I'm just talking with some friends and stuff like that. And uh, I was, I didn't get a window seat, I got, like, you know, a seat by the, uh, aisle and stuff like that and uh i'm sure you guys are gonna, are gonna be wondering oh man uh why'd you take the bus all the way to, from minnesota to new york and stuff like that why didn't you catch a plane well if we were to catch a plane then it would have costed us way more than it did because it was already about you know maybe a couple hundred dollars or something like that it was it was kind of expensive so so uh and the bad thing about it was that like Maybe like an hour, hour and a half into it, it was pouring down snow. It was like literally pouring down snow. And I guess something happened to the to our bus, to my bus and stuff like that. So and we had to go into this body shop. We had to pull into this uh nearby body shop. And so like we was there for about like I think maybe a good hour and a half, maybe two hours. And um what, ha what had happened was, I think it had something to do with like the heater not working or something like that. But I think, I think either they they fixed it or they gave us a different bus and stuff like that. So, and like when they gave us the different, and when they gave us the other bus, they had to put uh, a couple more sets of seats on there since there wasn't enough, you know, on there and stuff like that. So. You know, they put the seats on and stuff like that, and we get back on the road. And, bro, that bus ride there, oh my goodness, it was terrible. Like, you can, like, like you can just imagine just sitting in that same spot, in this upright position, like how I am right now, just sitting in this position for hours and hours and hours okay it, it was rough i thought my legs were gonna fall off by the time we got to new york and uh actually it was pretty funny because like um around three o'clock in the morning i had something had told me to wake up and so then when i did i overheard some people you know like talking about like you know how when you're talking to somebody late at night you know, the conversation, like, it doesn't matter what it is, like, 
as soon as it hits like after 12, and this is true, it's like as soon as it hits after 12, your conversation can get like super like either dark or like it can, or you can literally be talking about life or something like that, like something out of the ordinary that you wouldn't uh, normally talk about at the day in the daytime. So um, I think we was around Ohio or something like that. We I think we was in I, I think we was in Ohio or something like that, and like like me and a couple other people were just like just talking about life and just like looking at the stars and like just talking about uh like how you know like like i don't know it has something to do with aliens or stars or something but um so on the way there it was just crazy it was like it was like you you got like people sleeping in the aisles and stuff like that so then you have to like walk over people and then like you got the you got like people just like full on just knocked out i'm talking about like knocked out there was this one girl on the other side of the bus and she was just knocked out and i i, I won't give any names all right because i don't want to put anybody out there but she was just knocked out and it was just so funny but uh so we get to New York and stuff like that, you know. It was actually pretty cool, like it was pretty exciting and stuff like that. Because like, keep in mind, this is my first time going to New York, but like, it wasn't like I was the first one in the family to go to New York because pretty much everybody else in my family had already went. So I was like, you know, just the last person to go, uh, last person to visit. So then. Um, we get to New York, and, you know, it was pretty cool, stuff like that, you know. All I saw was just people on the other side just taking pictures and stuff like that, you know, like just 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 taking pictures on their phone and stuff like that. It was just, it was just crazy, like, seeing the city from, um, from, I think, um, just, like, just, like, seeing the city and stuff like that. And, like, and, oh, actually, the night before, we had stopped in New Jersey because, like, we was in this hotel and stuff like that uh, that was in New Jersey that was, like, just outside of New York and stuff like that. And, like, the crazy thing about it was was that we would come back to the motel, like, late at night, and then we would wake up even like we wake up early as heck i'm talking about like five o'clock six o'clock stuff like some stuff like that and it's like each day because we was doing this for like five days each day it would be like we, we would come back later and later and wake up earlier and earlier you know what i mean and uh but um so we get to new york and we get inside the city and stuff like that, and, you know. It's like, you can, you hear uh, horns just honking, stuff like that. That's all you hear. And then, like, you hear construction and stuff like that. It was crazy, but, like, you know, it was it was pretty cool and stuff like that. Like, I never, I never, like, I never experienced that before. I never saw that before in the city, except maybe, like, like maybe Chicago or something like that, but. It wasn't as loud as stuff. It wasn't as loud as it was in New York and stuff like that. So uh, we couldn't go. Like the bad, like like one of the bad parts was that we couldn't go to the Yankee Stadium. We couldn't tour the Yankee Stadium because, like, I guess we was like hours. Um, we was like hours late of schedule, so there wasn't no time to tour it. You know what I mean? And so, like, that day, we decided to go to the subway now. Um, and another funny thing about it was... Sorry about that, I'm eating gum. Another funny thing about it was, was that we had saw, like, the like a pair of shoes just dangling from a telephone wire. And, like, our instructor was telling us of how, like, that symbolizes gang territory and stuff like that. And uh, nobody was scared or anything. It's just like, I was like, well, why are they? I, at first, I was like, well, why are those shoes just dangling up on the um, on the telephone wire? And then as soon as he told us that, I'm like, oh, 
okay. So then uh, we take the subway, right? And it wasn't crowded or anything. It wasn't crowded or anything. And, uh, you know, it was it was actually pretty nice and stuff like that. Like, um, I think that was one of my first times taking the subway. And it was pretty cool. And so, like, okay, let's fast forward into the trip and stuff like that. So pretty much, like, each day we would just go and, like, um, just tour the city and stuff like that. And it wasn't, like, on the bus and stuff like that. We would mostly walk around the city, and it was, like, it was, it was, it was exciting, but then, like, it was so much walking. Like, for real, it was so much walking. But, uh, I, I shouldn't get, I shouldn't complain about that, but, um, anyways, so, this one day, when we had, uh, when we was touring, that evening, we had went on a cruise, and it was lit, actually. It was actually pretty lit, and um, uh, it was like, uh, it was like people from my school and people from like other schools and stuff like that, like from Wisconsin or something like that. Because like, on our way to the, uh, on our way to New York, we had stopped in uh, Wisconsin. And like it was pretty much like uh, we got to see some college band or something like that, see them practice and see like this composer and stuff like that. And like uh, it was it was pretty cool and stuff like that. But it was like it, it, it was alright. It was alright. But uh, yeah, it was like people. It was like kids from my school, from like Wisconsin, and then like I think a couple from like New York and stuff like that, and maybe like uh, a few adults. You know, not counting the adults that chaperoned my trip. So then, um, uh, I didn't eat anything on the boat. Like, I only had, like, one plate of food, and that was it. Because, like, you know, like, before I was eating some chips or something like that, I was eating snacks, so I wasn't really that hungry. So then, like, I only had, like, a little plate full of food, and that was it. All I did was just, like, drink a bunch of pop. 